Hello and welcome again. Now we talk about uh, the uh, network time protocol and we talk about DSCP, dynamic host configuration protocol. Now we will talk about DNS, domain name service, or, the, uh, or we will uh, provide this as a domain name server, which is the PFSense firewall will provide the service. Now we, if we take a peek on this, DNS servers, what is this uh, the first one this is uh, called the loopback interface or, or uh, this is the ip address of the loopback interface the second one will be the dhcp uh, dns or or uh, dns provided by isp which is the nat interface of uh, of our virtual box i'm sorry this so we can go to here you can see from here yeah you can see that we we provide this so this will be uh, will be shown uh, in our configuration now this what we get which is the gateway will be our dns uh, server now how we can change this we can go to the general setup and we can say that no don't override if you're concerned about security don't override this okay uh, do not use dns forwarder as dns server for the firewall well that's right don't use dns forwarder as dns server for the firewall uh, and the I think that's everything we need now by default localhost will be used as the first DNS server where DNS forwarder or DNS resolver enabled and set to listen in localhost um, uh, leave it alone anyways uh, we will talk about themes later well, let's take a look about on the themes now now we have pretty awesome themes uh, for the firewall uh, I like this one because I feel it's simple uh, or it's um, fast to reach anything from you see everything here um, but uh, we will keep uh, using the, the default one because uh, everybody will get the default one by default <laughs> It's like default by default, isn't then that awesome? <laughs> okay, okay, let's change it. Save. It's like playing with with words, like uh, playing with words. Like uh, if you don't get the default by default so you should make it default for your default configuration that's that's cool uh, go to DNS resolver uh, in the past uh, in the fair uh, in the past we will go to the DNS forwarder because DNS resolver or uh, unbound this is unbound uh, so DNS forwarder uh, was the uh, the default way you should enable this and you can say see this you can register dynamic uh, DSCP host but uh, for more security and for not more security it's uh, just to be more uh, let's say resource saver and uh, more uh, specific in your configuration uh, uh, yes you will resolve the HCP mapping first uh, and you will uh, yes require domain uh, yes require domain because you don't want to uh, this is uh, oh, I told you this is uh, if it's not configured in under the uh, uh, slash hc hosts so it will return not found okay uh, so you should provide the full domain for ib version 4 
and IB version 6. Uh, Curie DNS server sequentially we have four DNS servers so it will uh, query all of them uh, do not forward private yes do not forward private if you provide DNS servers uh, DNS uh, service for the public and worldwide uh, so this is the perfect uh, situation where you will uh, disable this and listen port you can change it it's uh, for dns uh, 53 you can change it to whatever you want now what is the interfaces you will listen if you are concerned about or if you just want to provide uh, for the lan and you only use ip version 4 so this is the setup you will control and select whatever you want Stick interface bounding, yes. So not only we listen on those interfaces, also we strict bounding. So we have the LAN dot dot uh, 53, uh, DMZ dot dot uh, 53, also home dot dot uh, 53, which is 192168. Uh, you know, it's like this. So 192168 dot 57 dot 254 then you colon 53 this is will be bounded interfaces uh, and that's it you will save now you can also add hosts and also you can add domains uh, let's make let's just uh, make a review for DHCP mapping okay prefer TNS uh, don't use this uh, reserve DNS mapping first require domain do not uh, forward private reverse lookups and for the for those advanced uh, okay that's it uh, the, this is the forwarder I'm sorry uh, we will go to the uh, resolver because this is the enabled by default because this will provide caching also mm. so we have 53 uh, network interfaces by default all of them uh, will be uh, your uh, host will be or your firewall will uh, listen to uh, outgoing interfa network interfaces so the DNS resolver will use to send the queries to all servers on all interfaces by default uh, enable forwarding mode DSCP registration this is the we talk about those now text support uh, this is advanced but you can enable it uh, this is uh, this is uh, for uh, curing from the command line or something like that and you can enable uh, advanced but we domain override and host override because you have a full DHCP server the DNS server so you can say well if somebody asks for your Facebook uh, address respond with the uh, <laughs> with the private IP address or uh, block it or send it to something else so when you're uh, but you will be careful using this because uh, this is uh, just like black holing or uh, no no let's say you have uh, like uh, what um, let's say we have public IP address uh, and the private IP address and the same server so you will provide like private IP address for your uh, web server inside your network that's it um, that's I think uh, so small and silly example mm. uh, advanced configuration uh, what is so interesting that you can we make override now what if somebody gives us like uh, bad uh, response 
now you can go further and make your cache more bigger and bigger so your resource record will be uh, bigger but uh, now 10 megabyte uh, actually it will take 20 megabyte because it's the twice the, the amount um where disable auto no no hide version okay prefetch dns key support Enable forwarding mode. I found that enabling forwarding mode. Enabling forwarding mode. This is from uh, the BFSense documentation. Uh, this is a new feature and uh, it will be the default DNS server for your firewall. And I think all, that's all the configuration we need uh, to talk about. Uh, now, what if I enable it for the public or for um, whatever uh, IP address? We can go and we can add a new access list, which is, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, University University uh, like Okay, allow them yes allow them add uh, their network you can provide like uh, What it's it must be public or anything let's say 1 or 10 turn 10 uh, 15 uh, 70 uh, 20 and you will go to 24 description this is test network or if you want to provide it for the public but you want to prevent just only some networks uh, from using this uh, DNS server so you will change it to deny and you will uh, like inverse your uh, selection and let's copy this and say and that's it apply configuration and that's everything for the DNS server. Thank you for listening. Have a nice time.